another day in the office at the work table. Uh, this is my favorite place to be right here because I'm able to, you know, really get down to what are we creating and what are we trying to, I guess, relay and communicate as a message, right? With this right here, I'm not speaking about process in the sense of, you know, going through it. Obviously, that's the, in order to get something great and achievable in life or something sustainable, you have a process, right? Um, now it's a matter about trusting that process one and allowing you to go through the highs and lows of that process. And I found myself here at least 50% of the time of the day, I'm at the drawing board, right? I'm finding ways, I'm finding opportunities to uh, express boldly, but also bring people in and engage people, right? We live in a very divisive world, not because of the political climate, but we live in a political world where it's always been like that. Um, and creating here, um, it allows to be at the drawing board and find ways, find solutions to say small things and affirmations that allow us to have conversation, but have solution at the same time. Right now, I'm trying to get this uh, word down and um, kind of doing the A a little bit differently than I usually do. And only to kind of uh, puzzle it up, right? The world is a very puzzled piece. Here, I'm going into, going into the L, right? Or I should say the I, I'm sorry, right? And once we get that M in, boom right there now we can really stop right here and this is a shirt claim claim you claim your identity claim claim your greatness claim the claim the day claim gratefulness claim appreciation claim your excitement in life claim joy um claim the life you chose to live with purpose right and to live a healthy life be an example um, it's great about claim right this word you claim this. This is a, in the definition sense, claim is state or assert in something is the case, typically without providing evidence or proof. He claimed that he came from a wealthy, educated family. Now, claiming something is one, embodying it is different. But when you claim the process, uh, think subconsciously, internally, you are exuding that. Um, so once we kind of mark this off, um, this is a great way to get into the next word here. So claim your, right? And we'll start with just the connections of the why. And again, if you're watching, uh, this is a new way for me to just communicate the pace and communicate the way these pieces are constructed, right? From the verbiage chosen on here. And as I go over the O, it can be a great way to connect this and I'm trying to do more three word four word pieces right with the only three four words uh, but also it's a very broad topic so we're trying to not only hit right the community that I know the best right um, but also other demographics other walks of life uh, and this is the whole part about um, sharing your claim sharing your why right at the MTP we've been doing you know what's your why at the MTP, if you don't know why, we've been doing, you come by, you get a shirt, you get a sweater, whether it's Seek Discomfort, the collaborations, or whether, whether it's a piece from WFM, one-on-ones. Um, what's your why? What is the why you internally wake up every day? For me, you know, I have three, four young, uh, younger brothers, and, you know, each one of them, I want to give them an example to live by, right? Be a great example. So my why is almost to create generational footsteps. So we're going to this next word is the process, right? Claim your process. You know, I said, you know, trying to create the best pieces I know how. And as each day we have, it's another fresh breath of air. You know, the paint brushes that allow us to stroke, the pens and pencils that give us the ink to build, the paints that give us colors to enhance. All these simple tools are made from the appreciation of living our fullest life. You know, during these times of process, it's liberating because in the moment you can and you will, right? That's the painting, right? That's the doing, the stroking, the connecting the, the lines to make sense. But it could be taxing on the mind because it's so centrally focused on the primary subject that is the piece at hand. And sometimes I find myself during these processes where I'll be so deliberately going, right? I'll just be deliberately going and 
I might forget to eat. You know, my, 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 my fiance will have to call, yo, lunchtime. And you gotta check out, right? You got to check out and, and be there, be present. And I think this is a way of, everyone has that process where they're just hustling and bustling, whether you could be in the office, um, you know, just hustling and bustle outside, you know, going from location to location. Man, it could be taxing on the mind, you know? So, when you're on that subject level, you know, the piece at hand and the selection of the resources, you, you, what do you want to do as an endware and user is you want that to be embodied. So, as you're trying to embody these bold messages, it's also good to know you got to keep your mind clear while doing it, while trying to preach it. So, live while you preach. And just change the angle. I'll probably get into other details, but this is a new way for me to connect with you. Um, please below, write your comments, concerns, um, share me your claim, what's your process? What do you claim is your process? My process right here is being at the dinner table, which I call the dinner table, the meal table, preparing a meal for someone to wear, curate, and to be uh, their process, right? With peace, love, much love.